thought I'd do something that I don't usually do. Excuse my kids in the background, they are on school holidays. Um, so I'm doing sort of like a what's sold today and this weekend. So from Sunday till today, till around about quarter to three. Um, because I, I did do a shipment on Saturday, just because it's Christmas and so I thought I'd do a shipment on Saturday. So if I didn't ship on Saturday, I would have had like 12 shipping items to ship. Lucky I did that. So what I sold. So first of all, I sold this really pretty top. So it's kind of like a watercolour. It's got cute bell sleeves. And it's a shirt, it's a button front shirt. Um, the brand is Seven Sisters. And yeah, that one sold for $33 with free shipping. So after shipping comes out, which is $7.55. Um, yeah. Total profit is probably around about $20. After fees and everything, which I don't mind. Second, we got a sale for just a basic crossroads but it is a size 20. <sighs> Excuse me. So this is crossroads size 20. It's really nice. It's like a white print. Um, I don't even know what it is. Like really cool bag. Anyway, it's got a peephole at the back. Really cute. Um, we sold this one for $17.99 so I sort of made it so that it will cost around about you know, seven fifty a shirt. So take the seventeen minute nine off, and you end up with like ten dollars. So that's what I got there. Um, next up, we sold the super cute sequin top. That's by Seed Heritage. Tell us uh, Size eight is quite small, but yeah, it's really cute. And the sequins are like an S shape, and we got. $26.99 for this. So yeah, around about $15 to $20 profit. I grabbed this maternity bra because I know when I was breastfeeding, um, it was really hard to find a really good bra and I never thought to look online. Uh, I wish I should have done, but I didn't. So I did find this cute little hot milk bra. And it's really pretty design, especially for like bigger, bigger chested ladies because for some reason the bigger your chest is, the uglier the old bras get, which is so sad. Um, but anyway, the brand here is Hot Milk and the size was 18E, so it's a really good size and that got sold for $24.99 free shipping, so again, I don't cheap out on shipping I'll be doing track shipping 750 out of that and then minus what I paid and everything it's probably like a $15 one. Um, next up was a pair of jeans that I've had on for quite some time um, mainly I just bought it for the design because it's a uh, distress and it's like a cropped capri sort of pair of jeans the brand is blue buddy and we got $19.99 free shipping so after it's all said and done again probably only like $15 not even that $10 yeah. next up uh, we did sell a men's item this is a big shirt like um, and the brand here is Banana Republic which is an American brand I think and uh, it has like the logo here as well, which is kind of nice. And it's just like a plain tan colour. This guy sold for $31.99, so minus $7.55 and fees and shipping fees and whatever else. We end up with, say, $25. Bucks. That's not too bad. Probably less than that, actually, more like $22. I'm not really good at maths, as you can tell. <laughs> too tight for that. And last but not least, um, I sold this um, Forever New basic brand from the mall. But it's a really cool design. It's a shift dress. But the design is sort of like, we call it a kaleidoscope and smoky. I called it a smoky pattern. 
and we got $25 free shipping so you know 10 15 profit on that and that's everything so now that I've shown you what I sold I will um, show you how I package my items and how I post them I will show you what I use and I can actually link I think I can link what I use that I bought on eBay um, However, the poly bags that I have, I bought from Stat Pack. Yeah, it's a company that supplies businesses with things like, you know, plastic cups and coffee mug cups with the lids and every kind of serving dish you can think of and obviously poly bags and tapes and everything. So, and they're really good if you have an ABN, which is an Australian business number, they give you a discount, so that's really cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll link what I got on eBay and, um, Hopefully you guys get some good tips on how I ship and I've never had any complaints about my shipping. So yeah. Um so yeah, see you soon. Okay, so I've put on my glasses for this part. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through what I do to ship my items and how I package it when I send it and so you can just see what it looks like and maybe you get some helpful hints. So what I start off with is a poly bag and it has a sticky end so that I feel like it's not as tacky looking as the Ziploc bag. So each tool. What I'll do is I'll package this item here with the dress. And what I try to do is get it to fit as best as I can into the back. Excuse me. So that's the kids again. Um, I try to make it look sort of professional, like how they would possibly send it if they were, if I was a proper retail shop. And so I fold it to about the size of an A4 paper as best as I can. Um, so this is how I've ended up, and I'll put the dress and the poly mailer. I sort of scrunch this end up and then lay it flat back again when I put the end in and then just sort of slide it in. Works well for me. Um, so I sort of ended up with that and what I also do, I do like to add, I have these little vinyl stickers that I bought off wish.com because I couldn't find anything on eBay. Um, but they're all different and you got I got Pokemon ones, I got random fist bump ones, just celestial kind of ones. And what I do is I just pop a little note like a thank you on the back of my little stickers. So I'll just say thank you. I'll just say Merry Christmas. Smiley face. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll have a hug for this lady who bought this dress and I'll have a little note that just says thank you from Rex Pat, that's my store name on eBay and Merry Christmas. I hope that they figure out it's a sticker and don't throw it in the bin. <laughs> Um, and I face the ink upwards so that it's not going to mark or seep like through to the material or like that. So I stick it in there and then I'll just rip off the sticker, put that in a bit, and fold it over, push out the air, and that's how I package it. So it looks nice and tidy in that little poly bag. And then what I do. Sometimes if I think the item's quite heavy, I'll weigh it first, so this one's not so bad, it's going to be under 500, but this is an example. So it's 295, so I know it's going to go on the 500 gram mailer. So this is maximum 500 gram mailer bags that I buy. I buy them in a 100 pack for $15. I think, I don't know, I probably could get cheaper generic ones, but I like the professional look of having the Australian press ones. And then you know it's from Australia, not from China, and 
yeah, I like it. Um, and what I also like about these is that I can just print off my little shipping slip from eBay and stick it in here. I don't need a sticker. I don't need to stick it down or write it. And then I just rip that off and stick it in. I'll show you how I do that. <sighs> so I do just print, I'll just cover the dress. So I just print it on like an A4 and then fold it because <laughs> um, basically I haven't set my computer up to print in the right size. <laughs> so stick it in there. I'll rip off the sticker, stick it down. Pop this in there. The best way to do it is make sure that's facing away from the hole, pop the bag. Um, and then we'll just slide that in, like so. Um, rip that off, stick that down, and then, um, yeah, that's it. Finished. And then that goes off to the post office where I'll lodge um, through them. And yeah, so the post office basically takes it off my hands. And from there, it's not my problem, <laughs> well, unless it's lost, and then I'll have to probably refund, but anyway. So the other bags I buy, in case the item is over 500 grams, I don't think any of mine are today, um, is these. These ones are up to three kilos, it's the medium satchel. I think they come in 100 as well. I'll link what I buy on eBay down below. Um, but yeah, these ones are the same deal with the poly mirrors, the, the sticker there, and you just stick your label in here, rip that sticker off, like, and yeah, that's it. So I don't have a bigger poly bag that I use at this stage because I don't get too many heavy items that I'm selling apart from things that I need a bubble wrap. Um, I do have eBay tape, but I think it's not the proper eBay tape because it's got a lower test B. <laughs> But, just in case, and I also do grab this from like, we have, uh, what do you call it, stacks here? I don't know if that's in America. But they sell this for like $2, a big roll of it, and I've used heaps already. Um, but that's basically what I use. Um, these little guys, as I said, the little stickers here, they are on Wish.com for like $2 plus $2 post. So I end up spending 4 bucks on like 50 of them. So it can be pricey, it's 100% optional. I like doing it, I don't know, I feel like now that I've started using these I do get more positive feedback and a lot of people have actually mentioned, oh thanks, I love Rick and Morty or yeah, my son likes Rick and Morty, thanks, so um, that's good. Hi, so I thought I would also show you guys um, how I use my space for inventory. Um, I don't do my like shipping and stuff. I'd use my kitchen to ship items because it's a high bench and it's a nice clear empty space. Um, but yeah I'll just show you guys um, where I store everything and how I store it. So. Okay so this is where I store women's pants. I just hang them up and put them in alphabetical order. I generally have only about one rack full at a time so you know they come and go as fast as I pack them. This is my collection actually. So this isn't for sale. I just collect gaming things and I like um, old gaming so that's not for sale but here's my um, sort of inventory that I've already listed as well and except for the stuff up the top there that's some stuff I'm saving for when um, Amazon gets here <laughs> which is who knows when so yeah. So I sort of categorized things. I haven't labeled anything, I've memorized it. So we've got a bin here full of exercise stuff. So it's just like Lululemon and Nike women's tops and things like that. I've got the shorts in here, women's shorts and women's skirts. And then I've got the men's jeans stacked, which I actually need to change because uh, there's just too many. It's, it's getting harder to find my men's pants. <laughs> These are pre-packaged stuff that I've sort of or I that's how I used to do I used to package everything as I listed it but I found that I had to take them out all the time for measuring and things like that so that's older stock but it's still on I don't mind waiting 
to sell them. This is all the bags that I have. Not all of them are listed, probably about half. All my soft toys are up here because <laughs> they're nice and light to get down from the top of my whatever you call this thing rack. It was a fish tank rack, but not anymore. Um, here's hats and uh, that's like stuff I haven't really got a category for like pillow slips um, we've got a nerf gun in there and yeah just like random toys for kids and things like that this is all stuff that I haven't listed and it's mainly winter so I sort of thought I'd store my winter items um, just because it's not probably going to move when it's so hot right now um, I have this shelf here for my shoes, so we just have a lot of shoes and games, board games, and these shoes haven't been listed, so they're just in there waiting for me to make them a listing. Um, the rest of these are all listed, and I have sold quite a few, I really need to get back into the shoes. Now I just have, and I have some more gaming and I collect Garfield, so <laughs> we've got my little Garfield collection and things like that. Uh, anyway. This is my dresses, so I have each rack as like a category, so I'm just doing it by dresses, tops, and this is women's jackets, and then we've got all the men's, because I sort of have more women's than men's, so this is all men's jackets, jumpers, t-shirts, whatever. All in there. Keep my hangers in these containers. And this random ball of crates is all inventory that hasn't even been listed or sorted or nothing i've just put them in crates and stacked them very high <laughs> and i need to get around to it i really do so and this is all children's stuff that i was going to lot up um, because it's my son's stuff that he's grown out of or children's stuff that i've found along the way that's good brands um but yeah that's about it and also oh, and then i've got more collectibles here. Um, these ones are all online as well, so this is just like a bit of media that I've got online. Um, and vintage items that I'm putting on Etsy here, like old lamps and things, and like got small like metal thing, I don't know. It's like a coin turned into a metal. It's kind of cool. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, like the walkthrough of my inventory area. And it's actually my second lounge been turned into inventory, so <laughs> um, it's all right though because I've already got another lounge, which is through there where the kids are watching TV. I can show my children being silly, doing handstands inside. Say hello to YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hello, hello YouTube. I hope you do good, Emily. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Yeah, see, they're watching other YouTubers because they love YouTubers. No, 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 do not. <laughs> so anyway, thought I'd show our Christmas tree. <laughs> Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is Trinity, my oldest, who's 10, with powder all over her face. This is my youngest, Levi. What's that, Levi? I haven't turned it on. He's only just come home today from a trip to New Zealand with Daddy. This is Phoenix, the youngest girl. She's seven. This is Sky, the scruffy haired Sky. Sky. Yeah. She's eight. And yeah, Levi's two. Levi. Look, Levi. Say hello. <laughs> he doesn't really care. Thought I'd show our little tree. This is decorations the kids made and then just baubles. We don't put the presents under, otherwise the two-year-old's gonna open them all. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd show you guys that. Say bye. Bye! Bye! bye. Have a nice Christmas! Have a nice Christmas, Emily, and that's